Hi, I'm uh, Teresa and this is a love letter to my grandmother. Today I will be cooking solo, no guest chef today, but uh, it is a, um, a special day because today is my husband's birthday so I'm going to make him a cake from grandma's recipes. And this cake has a very uh, unusual name in that I have named it after, I think, the person who gave it to my grandmother. I actually don't know the name of this cake. So if I get the recipe from my grandmother's recipe box, and apparently someone is doing some yard work outside, uh, you can see it has no name. It says Lavon at the top. And uh, it's it's a little bit different, right? It's paper. It even looks like it's a photocopy of some recipe that someone gave uh, my grandmother. And it calls for uh, actually pre-made ingredients such as a cake mix, a yellow cake mix, four large eggs, a can of mandarin oranges, some oil, and then a frosting. And I was telling... I was telling my friend Tutu about this cake and she said it's a cake she makes. And I asked her what the name was and she said, I don't know, we kind of just call it summertime cake or something like that. But now, at least between Tutu and myself, we're calling it Tutu's cake. So today I'm gonna make Lavon or Tutu's cake. So the first thing that I do is I take an exciting bowl and I put the yellow cake mix inside. Uh, today it is a Betty Crocker Super Moist Yellow Cake. I don't think it matters. It seems to be a yellow cake mix according to the recipe. So, yellow cake mix. And then four large eggs. Which I don't know. Are these large? They, I don't know. I have four eggs. So we'll put the four eggs in there. You didn't see that? That didn't happen. Shh. It's exciting stuff, cracking eggs. Okay. Riveting even. Okay. So the four eggs are in there, and then the next ingredient is actually the can of mandarin oranges, including the juice. So I have to get the can opener. And then we can put them in. Now, today, most grocery stores are actually pretty clean and there's not a lot of dust, but my mom always, always said, rinse off the can before you open it so you don't get any of the crap inside the can. So I always do that. I don't think it's a bad practice. So, and again, my Japanese can opener that mystifies many a person. And I'm curious about this juice. Just put the mandarin orange juice in there. Uh, when we, my husband and I, lived in Japan, uh, we took to calling this kind of orange mikan because that's the Japanese name. And quite frankly, I love that. Okay. So, can in there, juice included. Now, we have to add three quarters of a cup of salad oil. I remember hearing salad oil all the time as a kid. I don't really hear it anymore. So I'm just gonna assume that's canola oil. I should have Googled that beforehand to make sure salad oil is in fact canola oil. I did not. So here's our experimentation, our experimentation for this episode. See my canola oil. I tend to buy glass jars. Not maybe the most environmentally awesome for transportation because you have the heavier weight. So that uses up more fuel. My husband and I have this debate all the time. Should we buy things in plastic bottles or glass bottles? And I think that glass bottles are more highly recyclable 
and so we should buy those. He thinks we should buy plastic because environmentally there's a lower cost of transportation with plastic over glass. And then you get into the whole health issue, which one is healthier. I think if we can get locally produced in a glass bottle, that's probably the best. However, I actually don't know where most of our stuff comes from. We try to buy things that say they're local. And um, our local grocery store, Nugget, is really good about labeling things, local or not local. However, I don't really know. Okay, so now it says to beat this for two minutes. And I'm actually supposed to, the oven's supposed to be somewhere between 325 and 350. So I'm gonna put it at uh, three, 350, and then it'll start preheating while I beat this. And we'll just, my mom's old egg beater. Um, you know, I was just realizing I put a bunch of oranges in there and maybe I shouldn't use an electric mixer to do that with orange pieces. I wonder what Tutu's thinking right now. Since she's actually made this cake, it would have been handy to have her here. So instead, well, we definitely are gonna have little tiny mandarin orange chunks because I did just beat the hell out of them. But there are a couple of whole pieces in there, that's good. So we'll do that and then there are actually no instructions for, there are no instructions for whether it should go in a round cake pan, what, what it should go in. So nine inch, 20 inch, I mean, I don't have any idea. There's no information, no 20 inch either, but. So let me, um, let me look for a pan. Actually, I just got this brand new square pan from Kristen. And I've been thinking a lot about round pans, square pans, because I've been reading recipes and I've been talking to, I've been reading things online and talking to people about it. And I don't know, why do we care if it's square or round? So I'm gonna try my new pan. No information, what can I hurt? Square pan, here we go. Because why not? It's a metal pan and not a glass pan, and I don't know what difference that makes. And like I said, I don't know size. If Tutu were here, she could have a nice strong opinion. But alas, I am alone. It sure looks pretty though, and it smells nice. Okay. Get my rubber spatula. Get all the nice little yummy battery goodness down there. That's a big bowl. Okay. And then, once we get this in the oven, we will make the frosting. And I'm going to not follow those instructions, which Tutu confirmed are the instructions she has, uh, in part because this is for Eric and in part because I live with Eric. So I'm gonna change the instructions. And you may be wondering, what does that mean? But you also may recall from when I did grandma's green salad, uh, Maybe I should change the name to Grandma's Green Salad. Anyway, when I did Grandma's Green Salad, uh, it involved Cool Whip. And Eric hates Cool Whip. So, this recipe also calls for Cool Whip, and we will not be using Cool Whip. We will be using regular whipping cream. So, here we go. Tw 30 minutes for that. And we'll set the timer, 30 minutes. 
while that cooks, we will get the frosting made. Mmm. Okay, so we're gonna have Cool Whip whipped cream, uh, vanilla pudding, an instant package of vanilla pudding, and then uh, a can of crushed pineapple. Crushed pineapple. So, whipping cream first. Our whipping cream. Uh, I got a smaller box than last time and made sure it seemed liquidy. If you remember the last time with Sultan, it didn't seem right. Tastes it fine, I'm still alive, Sultan's still alive, no pain. This one says it's good until December 26th. Also preferable to look and it looks, it looks normal. Yay! Oddly enough, it's also heavy whipping cream, so I don't know why last time the heavy whipping cream was so strange. And this is a perfect time to whip the cream since the neighbors are also doing yard work still, so very noisy. The recipe actually is a little bit vague. It just says small package instant pudding, vanilla, crushed pineapple drained, Cool Whip, and then mix and put in the refrigerator, frost after cake is cool. So I actually think I have more whipped cream than I'm supposed to have. I'm not, I'm good at eyeballing a lot of measurements. I'm not so good at eyeballing eight to nine ounces. So, This is three and a quarter ounces and 90 calories mm, per package. And I think that's including milk, I don't know. No, not including milk. So 150 calories with milk. I'm debating, how do I want to do this? Should I just pour it in? Should I try and find um, a way to figure out how many ounces I have? All right, my measuring cup has ounces. So we will do ounces in my measuring cup. I think I'll take a milk spoon. One of the things that I'm hoping to learn as I do more and more of this cooking is like why you want some things over other things. Like I, I'll read sometimes where it'll say uh, use a wooden spoon, not a metal one. And I, and I wonder why, like, is it just preference or is, is there a reason? Does it alter the flavor? What does that mean? So this is actually really close to eight ounces and so I probably didn't have to transfer it. But I did, because I didn't know. Everything is a learning experience. And normally I just eyeball it anyway and just kind of do things that way. But the blog makes me feel like I have to, I don't know, be a little bit more precise, try things a little bit more. So it can be reproduced a little bit, you know, because if it's just for me and I eyeball it, whatever, but if it's for someone else to try and recreate, it's a little bit harder. One of the things that um, my friend <clears throat> and colleague Christina Marcy and I have been talking about is like she got a recipe from her mom and she was looking at it and it didn't have any of the right measurements. She said you couldn't have possibly made it the way it was said. And so 
I am trying to make things be a little bit reproducible. Uh, this, <laughs> once I added the vanilla pudding, became very strange. It's very, uh, <coughs> it's very granular. The pineapple is supposed to be drained, so I will be doing that over the sink. Although, honestly, there was hardly any liquid in there at all, so here we go. And now I'm mixing that together. And I guess Tutu, the expert, could tell me if somehow the whipped cream seems different than the Cool Whip. But it looks pretty... pretty good to me as someone who's never seen this and doesn't know what it looks like or tastes like. Okay, and then the next step is to put the frosting in the refrigerator and let it cool while, or I don't know, just chill while the cake is baking. And then once the cake is done, is cool, done in the sense that it's cool, I will then frost the cake. So. We'll see how that goes. So the uh, um, timer just went off and now we should pull out the cake. But before we do, I'm going to do the toothpick test. I'm going to stick a toothpick in and see if it comes out clean. It's not one of the instructions, but I think it's a good idea. So here's my toothpick. Here's my hot pad. Exactly clean. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it about two more minutes. Okay, so it's cooked a few more minutes. I'm gonna get a new toothpick. Let's see. Et voila, it has come out clean. So now we will turn off the oven, take out our cake, put it on our expensive cooling rack. And then we'll come back and frost. The cake is done. It looks very beautiful. Clearly it's cool because I'm holding it. And the frosting has come out of the fridge. It's definitely chilled. I am going to frost it. And Eric has arrived, so he will taste test his birthday cake uh, as soon as it is ready. So. I'm using my rubber spatula to spread the frosting. It's very chunky because of all the pineapple. It doesn't have that granular feel that it first had, so that's good. Uh, Eric does not know what's in his cake, so he'll be a little bit surprised, I am sure. But I think he will like it. I think he'll enjoy the fruity aspects. And of course, I wish Tutu were here so that she could tell us how it compares to hers. Did I do a good job or not? I'm hoping it's a fairly foolproof recipe. Should be, I would think, with the cake mix. I feel like it's a little too much frosting. I'm not gonna put it all on because other than my little edges there not being quite so pristine. I think it looks pretty good. And Eric, I think we're ready for you. Come on. Come on, camera, Eric. Really? Yeah. Do you do you want a candle? Should I did your mom come on in? He's kinda hiding over there. Did you <laughs> did your mom make you blow out candles? Uh, I blew out a candle with Shiraz. Online. Online. Uh huh. Do you want to blow out your own okay, candle? Okay, I'll blow out my own candles because we have lots of candles. <laughs> four and a half. You want to do four and a half candles? I don't know if we can do four and a half. You know, four is kind we of can a. We do an X. An X? That sounds like a five. It's five, it's fine. I was going to say, um, four is a bad luck number in Asia. Should you can do all blue? 
Yeah, I think it'll show up a little bit better. Okay. Okay, can you guys see his little five? Because Eric is 45. <laughs> oh, am I helping? Okay. Um, we're not going to sing Happy Birthday to you for copyright infringement reasons. Okay. Unbelievable that that song is still copyrighted, but it is. So, at home, why don't you guys sing it and we'll imagine it in our heads and Eric will make his wish. I wish, oh my gosh. To you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wish. Yeah, what's your wish? I mean, you want me to tell you my wish? No, 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 but you got to be oh, ready. Oh, my wife, I thought she was asking me <laughs> no, my secrets. No, no. Okay, you, I'll make If you tell wish. your wish, it doesn't come true. You can't tell your wish, but you should... Okay, ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to have a trick candle in there somewhere, although I don't think there were any trick candles in there. <laughs> Looks like this is very fruity. Yes. Not pineapple, but like Well, no, a, there's pineapple in it. It wouldn't be citrus. Ah, uh, there it is citrus in it. There's pineapple and citrus. Lemon? No, not lemon. I could taste the frosting. Yeah, taste the frosting. Creamy. Mm -hmm. Vanilla-y. Pineapple-y, yes, I could taste the pineapple. Yes. Did you use coconut? You bought coconut. I did not use any coconut. The recipe does not call for coconut. I put coconut in my cereal. Have you had the frosting? It's quite good. Yes, I have had the frosting. I think it is quite good. We'll right. see how the cake is. Okay. This is Lavon um, or Tutu. Um, there's not any hot water at the mo. So, Eric's gonna make some tea. To we, have. Don't, we won't make them wait for the tea. <laughs> we just need to have a taste test. But if you turn on the water, it'll be noisy, so you no, can't. No, 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 it takes a while. It doesn't take that long. Okay, so yeah, you've got your piece, I've got my piece. Do you want to get us some forks? So this is the cross section, what it looks like inside. And... Looks like a yellow cake. And is it a yellow cake? I can see a tiny bit of the mandarin orange or the mekon down there. Uh, It'll go with the chocolate cake I already have. Yes. From my mom. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, mm. We got a little Japanese here. Eat the Very soft cake looks soft. Looks soft, soft yeah. Mm. Nice homemade cake. Mm hmm. Well, it is homemade, but it has a cake mix. Cake mix. I like it. It's very good. I like it. So, to do it might not be as good as yours, mm. but it's good. I like it. Thumbs up. I may have to keep it all for myself. Well, I often, um, give the rest of the food to my students and tomorrow is a school day but if he has to keep it all for himself well, oh. we'll see it's pretty good it's good mm, i got some you, mekon you're welcome okay yeah i like it did you get any mekon yes i think i did <laughs> mm. So, another winner from Grandma's recipe box. Yay!